Here we are back again with another installment of Been There, Rom That on GoodAndEvo.net. Today we're going to take a look at the Kingdom port made by Virus. This is Beta 1 and let's jump into it. So here we have the lock screen from Sense 3.0 which has the new pull up ring to unlock it. Straight to the home screen or we have the four changeable applications on the bottom which you can actually manage to change yourself if you wish to do so. Show you guys how to do that right now. I'm gonna jump into the personalized menu. Go down to lock screen, wallpaper, and simply just hit settings and then select shortcuts. Oh, sorry. Select shortcuts and then you simply just tap on the one you want to change out. And Oh, sorry, it'll bring up a list and you can put anything you want. Let's just go ahead and switch that with flashlight for right now. Let's back out, see if that did it. And then we have flashlight and we simply just drag it down and it opens straight up to it. Here we go. Alright. Alright, so most of you guys are wondering what works on the ROM, what doesn't work. So far, pretty much everything is working. Wi-Fi works, 4G works, GPS, it, it works. There's a fix you may need to flash on, but it definitely works. It takes a little while to load up, I've been hearing. I don't personally use it myself, so I won't know that much. Um, both cameras work, but there is a problem when recording video. It records, and when you try to view it, it just gives you a white screen. So that's not fixed yet. Um, Bluetooth works, um, all the widgets are working and you get the carousel effect, let me see if I can spin this fast enough, there you go, you see that works, this is the new clock with the Facebook update statuses at the bottom, I have this one because the weather is not working on this ROM so far, it's very buggy weather and sometimes it causes the phone to crash and it makes this really annoying, um, opening like sunny day sound and it annoys me because it'll happen sometimes when I'm inside my messaging application and not even on the home screen go ahead and show you guys what I mean about the weather noise turn it on and unlock the phone and okay that's up you guys see the force close so we'll go ahead and try this again. Don't know if you guys can hear that fully, but it sounds like really choppy and like the speaker kind of sounds blown out. And I just overall don't like the noise that it makes. Maybe it'll sound better on the newer phones like the Sensation or the Evo 3D. But right now on this port, I do not like it. A lot of people have been taking out the MP3s actually to get it out of the way so that they can still use the weather clock widget. But I just went ahead and went the route of not even using it all together. So this ROM is very stable for most of the ports I've actually used on my phone. But there are a couple things that are broken, which I don't think like should be broken on a, just the port. Like, of course, the weather is broken, as I just explained to you guys. The video player doesn't work. All you get is a white screen. Let me see if I can show you guys an example of that. Go down. Here's the gallery. Very slow load times. Alright, and we're back, and I still can't get the gallery to work. All I get is this black screen, so we're just going to go ahead and skip that for now. Netflix recently came out for the Evo, and I downloaded it, and having a bunch of problems with that, as it will not play the video. It'll just force close and head back to the home screen. And uh, in beta 1.1, he still hasn't fixed that, so don't expect to be viewing Netflix on this ROM, as it does not work. Um does come with the Wi-Fi hotspot, but it is not hacked, so you will have to pay to use it. Um, or you could always download Wi-Fi Tether from Google. The Nav, which I haven't used much, but I've been hearing it takes a while to load up. 
So you see, I haven't used it yet, so we're just gonna back on out of there. G Talk with the videos. I have that installed in here, as you guys can see. Oh, like force close. And another force close. And more force closing. So nothing seems to want to work for me today, but it will, in, in fact it does open up, but when trying to connect to video chat, it will force close as it did right then. And that's like one problem with this port is a lot of things force close without giving any notification. You'll click on it, it'll give you a black screen and head right back to what you were doing before. Um, he hasn't said much of why that's happening. He did say that this ROM would never be fully stable as it is a port. Take a dive into the settings real quick. Settings. Oh, phone. It does have the overscroll effect. I don't know if you guys see it. Let me go back. It does have the over overscroll effect in it, which I really like. That's a new part of Gingerbread. And let's go to software. You can see it is Android 2.3.3. .3 is the new Sense version. Um, what else? Battery life, about second day of boot, I got around 15 hours, and that was with moderate uses, maybe about four phone th phone calls throughout the day. Um, he pretty heavy messaging, as I seem to do a lot of my talking through text messages, and few but little downloading and gaming, and it got me 15 hours throughout the first day or the second day of boot. First boot was kind of... The battery drained really, really fast, which I don't know why. It could have been I flashed the ROM without my battery being full. I'm not sure, but it did die incredibly fast. But the second day, it did last way longer than I expected it to for a second day boot on the ROM. Um, take a look real quick in the app drawer just so I can show you what comes preloaded on here. We have everything that's normally on here with the addition of... HTC Hub and HTC Likes, those are two new things, and uh, locations right here, that's new, you have to download something for it, I don't have that much memory, so I didn't download it, so I can't show you guys that, I'm sorry, it does have the Mirror app, it does have Media Share. I haven't, I'm not sure if that works or not, if you, I'll probably update that in a future video, it has this Polaris Office, which is a little, you know, file manager, not like Astro, but for like Word documents or PDFs, places, navigation. It does have a built-in task manager, which I really like. I'll show you guys what that looks like. You see, it has all your open applications and a kill all button, or simply just hit the X to kill one by one. Let's kill all. You see in the top, the, you do not, hold on, let me get that refocus. You don't have that much memory because this ROM is like really big. It takes up a lot of room. But if you do portion the apps to SD card, you uh, you will have a lot more room than I have on here. And in beta 1.1, I think he frees up another 50 megabytes. So that's something to look forward to. Beta 1.1 hasn't come out yet though, but I will be flashing that when it does. And I will do an updated video for you guys. We're going to go ahead and wrap up this video with a few tests real quick. We'll run. Let's run Limpack first. Get that out the way. Show you guys. 32. 36. And 36. Run it one more time. So that's pretty good compared to the scores I was getting on the MIUI ROM, but as somebody left in the comments on YouTube, it's because of the smart ass governor on there in the set CPU settings. Let's go ahead and run the quadrant. Full. We'll come back when this is done. Alright, and we're back. Um, quadrant wouldn't run for me. It ran for me the first time I loaded the ROM, but now it won't. It keeps forks closing. So I don't know what that's about. Let's take a look at the power settings we have here. We have power shutdown, hibernate, restart, and actually this does come with the fast boot. Let's show you guys that. This is one of the slowest fast boots I've actually encountered. Usually they're way more faster than this. But 
as I said, it is a port, so it'll never be fully functional like most ROMs. This is the custom boot animation <coughs> that Viruses puts on his ROMs. It loads up fairly fast, it just takes a while to turn off, which I don't understand. Um, let's go ahead and see if we can get back in this quadrant real quick so you guys can see the result of that. And no, that's not going to work for me. Okay. Um, so, yeah, as you guys are seeing, I was getting a lot of force clothes on a lot of apps that were working around first boot. I didn't notice they didn't notice they stopped working until today. Also, if you guys notice that my battery has drained drastically since the beginning of this video, which I don't know the reason to that. Um, let's just take a quick look into the wallpapers in case you guys have any questions of what's on here. Oh, let these load up. You guys see them? I have the ones from the Evo and the Sensation. And then there's also a couple live wallpapers. The HTC Sense, the slideshow, the weather animations, Streak, ones from regular Android. And this one, I don't know if they threw this on there, if that comes on there, but it's a little, looks kind of like the Nexus wallpaper that comes on the Nexuses, but in dot form. And of course, Google Street Maps. And that about sums it up, folks. This ROM, um, well, this port actually is really good port, and it just keeps getting better and better with each update. I had the alpha one version and that was phenomenal and then when i found out the beta came out i had to download that that's what slowed down the video so much but it's definitely something to go check out you know it may not be a daily driver but it's definitely something to check out to see if you like it this will definitely help your um decision influence on buying the sensation or buying the evo 3d when it releases for sprint so have a nice day thanks for watching if you haven't already follow me on twitter at techman west thank you